Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're doing a behind the scenes of a product shoot that I'm doing for a football helmet company. Um, I reached out to them to kind of do a spec video because I really wanted to shoot something cool for them. So uh, here's behind the scenes of how it's going to look. If you're going to do product videography, I would definitely recommend checking out the brand beforehand, figuring out what types of materials and colors and textures kind of identify with the brand. So this is more of kind of like a slick, sleek, high tech uh, helmet brand company. So we're going for like blacks, um, reflective uh, glass. We want to have like sparkly red lights, making it look like it's high tech. So I want to use that with the lighting, with the texture and the materials. So let's get into it. So for this shoe, we're actually gonna be in my garage. Took both the cars out of the garage here because it's kind of cold. It's not the most ideal place to shoot. But the reason I'm shooting this in here is because I wanna use smoke for my smoke machine to make this look really badass. I have a bunch of smoke coming in, um, coming off the reflections and stuff like that to make it look more professional. And there's no smoke detectors in my garage. So I'm going to lock myself in here and keep all the smoke contained so it doesn't set off all the alarms. For this, I'm really just roughing it. I was gonna go to the store and buy some materials, but I really wanna challenge myself to use what I have already. So I'm gonna look for reflective materials, black backgrounds, spray bottle for water reflections and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sweep out everything and put this big tarp down just to make sure everything stays clean. huge box from Shut Sports, a shout out to them. This huge crate came, I mean look how big this is. Um, helmets, shoulder pads, girdles, I mean like I'm probably going to end up being the talent and the shooter so this will be fun to kind of shoot and, uh, and be the talent at the same time but a lot of it's going to be focused on the helmet and the shoulder pads so here we go. So my first step in this process was to get the lighting set up. So I have a key light here, the Godax SL60W. And then in the background, I'm starting to play around with a kicker light. So as you can see, I'm playing with it, seeing if it looks better on the background or directly on the product. I decided to go with this green uh, gel just to make it look a lot more badass, just because I thought it complemented the neutral color of the silver and the black really well. So then it's when I got my lighting all set up and dialed in, I started playing around with some different things. I had this green jacket. I had the green set up on the back, and then I was trying to get some just really hardcore product shots. And then I whipped out the shoulder pads to see if these look kind of cool to drop in and out. This shot never made the final video. And then, this is one of my favorites, dumping the water on the helmet, giving it some texture. The client did not like this in the end video for that little clip that's showing there, but this one definitely made it. So at this point is when my wife showed up so she could help me with some of these stage shots because I just could not get the focus on myself plus trying to get the smoke coordinated and get everything figured out as the model. So she was checking focus for me, getting some smoke figured out. We were really having a hard time controlling the smoke coming directly from it compared to the product when I could just shoot the smoke directly up there. And then she's pointing out that the backdrop fell and then the whole thing fell. So that's pretty fun. My luck. So then once we got the whole thing to pinned up here, I know it looks kind of ghetto, but really we just need that little spot directly behind me to be blacked out to keep all the focus on me as the talent. So we continued on here doing some more with smoke, putting the helmet on, and then I wanted to try this other shot here that never made the final cut, which was her moving the key light as a strobe, just to try a little bit of a different visual and see if that added some interest. Then we moved down to the bottom here where I had this vision for kind of a worm's eye view up here, seeing the top of the helmet with the smoke coming up. We had one little micro clip of this uh, angle get in the final video, but I just wanted to really focus on the top of the helmet and some of the detailing there. Then I added some more water with a spray bottle to try and really put some more texture on the helmet. 
put some more texture on my forearm so it just looks sweaty and kind of gritty like I wanted to here with this colored light there. The face mask without any water on it, as you can see, not as dramatic. I wanted to splash it, so here it is with the water. Really cool effect that I like, just to add some more drama and some more grit to the shot. And I just followed up with some more detailing shot of the extra products they sent, like the compression shirt, the side profile of the helmet, and some other stuff that I could do on my own. That's a wrap. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section what you liked about it the most. My name is Ryan Snod, it rhymes with odd, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace!